New on Sports Center, Devin Booker and Chris Paul talking after the Suns' loss. Um, you know, we, we came out and did what, you know, we intended to do, you know, get off to a great start. Um, and, you know, we let it go. You know, they stayed resilient and they kept playing through. So, um, tough loss for us. Well, Devin, you've talked about learning what you've learned in the playoffs is that it's a series, that it's not just one game. So, mm -hmm. just speak to that mindset of going back to Milwaukee, knowing you get that when you'll be back here for a game seven. I mean, one at a time. You know, our focus is the Milwaukee right now. Um, you know, that's how you have to do these series, one game at a time. And, um, yeah, that's it. Dave, here in the front. Look, I wanted to ask you about the, the play. You guys are down one. You're coming down the court. You pick up your dribble around the foul line, uh, and, then, and then Drew comes in. Um, just what were you seeing on the court in that moment? And when you kind of had a little bit of a transition opportunity, what were you seeing in, in, uh, as you surveyed the court? I was just trying to score the ball. He was behind me. I turned, and he was right there. Over on the right side. Go ahead. Hey, Devin. Um, you know, obviously, you had a great night, but it, it, it seemed like a lot of times that there was a lot of isolation. There wasn't a ton of ball movement. I know you talk about point five, and it, there weren't many of those possessions. Did you think things got, and maybe this for Chris too, that things were just too isolated and stagnant on offense for too long during the night? Yeah, the whole third quarter, you know, was pretty much that. Um, we were trading basket for basket for, I think, five minutes straight. Um, but, you know, we're at our best when we get stops and get out in transition. So, um, that's we hang. I always say we hang our hat on the defense end, and that's where we have to be better. And Chris, what did you think about just kind of the ball movement? And did you feel it got a little stagnant at times? <clears throat> uh, yeah, it, it definitely did, especially in that second quarter when I was out there. And we talk about it all season long. We've been a ball movement team, and you know sometimes the switching can cause you to do that. You know we we exploit it at times, but sometimes we don't. Uh, we'll go back and look at the film and, and, and see what we could have could have did better. Gina? For both you guys, I mean, you, you haven't lost three games in a row in six months since January and, and haven't really faced a, a must win as far as an elimination game situation all playoffs. So just, I know you get how much you guys pride yourself on resilience and, and fighting back. So just what do you hope to see from, from you guys and, and your teammates the next two days to, to get ready for game six? Just embrace it. Yeah. You know, we, we knew this wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> uh, we didn't expect it to be. And I mean, it's hard. You know, coach said it all year long. You know, everything we want is on the other side of hard, and it don't get no harder than this. You know, so we got to regroup, um, learn from this game, but it's over. You know, we got to get ready for game six. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.